Hello, so this is part three of our tray series and uh, we're going to start by making, continue with making uh, uh, these rings here and uh, then uh, do this support, uh, something like here and uh, yeah, continue. So uh, we're going to use uh, this edge here uh, to create uh, that ring and uh, we're not going to make a complete ring all the way. Uh, we can just use this, since we already have this mesh uh, with all the modifiers necessary or we can just duplicate it and uh, you can see if I you can see how it's already it already comes with the array bevel and solidify modifier so we can just use that but uh, to position it correctly uh, what I'm going to do is just first select this edge ring trace ring like that then shift D uh, to have it like that and then push it along its normal and the reason I, s I used a face ring uh, instead of an edge ring is because when you have a face, a face ring like this, you can use Alt S to push it along its normal. So I can push it down uh, so that I have uh, the ring extend uh, backward here, backwards here. To have something like that. And uh, if I want to make to make it this thin, I can just select uh, the outer uh, that ring there that vertex edge loop and then uh, hit G twice uh, to push it along uh, its edges uh, like that. And then now you can see it's thin as I want it to be. But uh, we have a f more than a few edge rings here. So then I can find another ring here. So something like this, like this. You can show this, the shortcuts I'm using. Shift D, duplicate it and then Alt S to push it along its normals something like that and again select these rings and uh, hit G twice to make to shrink uh, that edge look like that so I think this guy had around uh, three or four of them but I uh, yeah these are enough for our case so now let's continue uh, with making this base support I I don't really see how it looks here but I think it's something like this so let's start and now I, I think you can even separate these if you wanted to but uh, it's not necessary you can separate them as different or to have them as different objects but I don't think it's necessary here and uh, now we can work on this base here so for that uh, let's start with this inside uh, edge loop shift D to duplicate it and then push it down uh, something like that so we have something like that and maybe I can scale it up a bit. I don't think that is necessary. And uh, for this, we won't need the solidify modifier so we can disable it or remove it, get rid of it. I'll make sure you first separate uh, this selection uh, this so that this is a separate object and uh, remove the modifier so that we don't remove it from this inside uh, object. Now I can select that, extrude it, uh, extrude it down a bit like that have uh, that disk now you can be as detailed as you want maybe add an, an edge loop using ctrl r and then ctrl b to bevel this use your middle mouse wheel to bevel to, uh, to add more resolution or more edge loops make a small edge loop like that and then use alt e to, to extrude along the normals just to add in some bit of detail like that now now that we have that uh, we can let's go to top mode and uh, uh, because this is getting in the way I'm just going to use alt D to make an instance uh, an instance of uh, this and uh, I see that we still have the array modifier of okay, what's this link here oh I s this is parented to this that's why we have that link but uh, yeah so uh, this is get this was the, the the other parts of this set like we're getting in the way and I couldn't uh, see what I was doing so that's why I'm making an instance of this and uh, the reason I'm making an instance is that uh, if I edit this if I make any edits to this you can see they will be applied to the other instance uh, that is still in position so I can make the edits here and uh, see them uh, take effect on the other option on the other object so yeah what what I want to do is first add symmetry, symmetry to this so that I can use the mirror modifier so I can select this edge and then this edge hit F, hit F uh, to join them and then 
go to the bottom one uh, this and then this hit F uh, to join those I think it's J not F it's J not F so yeah, let me delay that edge is select that and that and uh, hit J now I can select this side and delete it then add a mirror modifier so that we have uh, those sides you can see that uh, we have a split here and that's because uh, the bevel is below is above the mirror so if I push this up I should not have that and I think I need an uh, another mirror around here so I will just select these two edges uh, the top and bottom right click subdivide and then I uh, join this uh, to that and uh, then this uh, to that now I can delete this side and use another mirror object another mirror axis there so now I can only what I should I can w just worry about this side and that so what we're going to do is uh, add a plane scale it down rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis so that is something like this push it down and uh, now we can go to edit mode select these bottom uh, edges what says then use the shortcut ctrl shift b at bevel those edges until you have something like this and increase uh, the resolution of your bevel bevel using uh, the, your middle mouse wheel and uh, i'm trying to make sure that those ins those middle vertices are close enough so that i can just join them merge them using alt m merge them to the center have something like that then i can select this top subdivide this again i want to use symmetry here so that's why i delete this face this side now, now if i join this to this uh since this already has our modifiers it you can see we have something like that now you can select this side all the vertices on this side extrude there but make sure we have clipping turned on then extrude them on to on the x-axis to have something like that uh, actually we don't want to match them there we can just select this entire block or face and uh, extrude it like that uh, so that we, re we retain a gap here then shade smooth again to have smooth uh, faces now we can select this and that subdivide and join that join that and now i'm just going to apply the mirror modifier so that i can easily uh, cut a hole here and so i can apply the mirror modifier uh, but the problem is that uh, since we have this as an instance of this i can't apply any modifiers i will get this error so i need to first make this a separate object from this so that any changes we make here don't affect this so i'll just select this go to object uh, then relationships relations and then make single user object plus data and uh, apply that now if i apply the mirror it doesn't aff i don't get the error anymore uh, the reason i apply the mirror is that uh, it will make it easy for me to just select these uh, edges and then shift b use the shortcut Control shift b actually i don't think it was necessary for me to uh, to apply the mirror yeah actually it was because this side was also mirrored so uh, but uh, i think as because we added the mirror modifier we have we had the mirror modifier we still have these inside faces uh, what that we need to deal with we don't want want them there otherwise the step we're going to do here would not work very well so select those inner <coughs> uh, vertices after deleting those uh, faces then use the shortcut ctrl shift b at bevel that edge or vertex now we can go to the bevel settings here and uh, change the profile to something like this and, uh, you can reduce uh, the size you want you can reduce the seg the vertices here to match the number of segments vertices we have here i think we have one two three four five 
So let's try that and see. Uh, because remember, we, we are just going to join these uh, to match up with this. So this would go with that, 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 that. Okay, would miss, one would miss. So let's try four. Okay, yeah, let's just go with five. Now hit F to have them joined like that and uh, select this and this. If you hit F, uh, actually, if you right click and uh, find the bridge setting, you can join them into a circle like that. But uh, you see, it's not a perfect circle right now. Uh, that's right. That's be because I I went in too fast uh, to bridge the two. So if you want to make this a perfect circle, just select the face, use the shortcut Shift Alt S and then one. And you can see how it turns into a circle, a perfect circle. Like that. And now I can select this and this bridge, right click and then bridge uh, those faces. So that's where we'll begin uh, in the next tutorial with something like this. Uh, so this will be the base of the uh, of our satellite and uh, that will be the hinge of the satellite. Thank you.